Welcome to episode 23 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar. Uh, on today's episode, we'll be giving you guys an update on our Skybox product, uh, which is an off-grid, all-in-one solar and battery system, you could say, or management system. Um, let's start, Ross, by talking about why we made the Skybox and what makes it so much easier compared to what's on the market. Yeah, well, we, we made the Skybox because we were both installers. We are still installers, and we... Um, the way to traditionally install an off-grid solar system is you go buy all the components and, and the cables and the, the bits and the pieces, fill a trailer load worth of stuff, take it to site, put it on the wall and make it look as neat as possible and then start commissioning and hope you get there, go, hope you get home in the same day. So that's what drove us to go, hey, hang on a second, we can make this a bit easier. Um, so we invented the Skybox, which is all that hard work and everything put into a really nice looking uh, cabinet box. 100%. And then I guess what you're saying is it removes the complexity mm. from off-grid uh, renewable energy. So off-grid renewable energy is quite a complex matter. You've got to have uh, a lot of experience really to make generators and solar panels and wind and all these things work together to pr provide a stable power supply. So we've used our expertise from the last, you know, more than 10 years yep. to put that into a, a, a box that any electrician can um, literally just plug the solar panels in and, and create a re renewable power grid and a generator. What else is a, a different about the Skybox aside from the fact we put the complexity into a simple box? Um, what else about it is, is special? Yeah, so a lot of thought goes into the, the, of how, how we've designed the Skybox. Mm. Um, so it's not just nice to look at, it's got a lot of functionality as well. Um, Firstly, it's probably the amount of power we've stacked into a relatively small box. So the Skybox can go as high as 10 kVA of inverters, 6.6 .6 worth of solar, and 30 kilowatt kilowatt hours worth of batteries. And that's for this model. So yeah, there are that's other models. The, but the model behind us. So that's yeah. one of the models. So um, keeping it small and compact was was an important part of the design. But whilst doing that, the system all has still has to be well ventilated. So one of the biggest uh, drawbacks, say, of, of inverters is when they get hot, they derate, which means they lose power. Um, so this box had to make sure that our inverters don't do that. So we've, we've come up with a ventilation system which keeps the, te the cabinet uh, temperature controlled and makes sure the inverters are always putting out the best output they can. Mm -hmm. um, the batteries, the way we've designed the battery rack, we haven't made the batteries go sideways or upside down or this or that. They're nicely slotted in one on top of the other. It means when you're installing, or even if you're just looking at the cabinet, the battery system um, front on, you can see your battery state of charge. You can get easy access to all your terminals. So these are just little things that have gone into the design process to make it uh, an, a much easier product. Yeah, so remove the complexity, and then not only remove the complexity from accessing renewable energy and off-grid power, um, but then also putting in some cool features like yeah. temperature control, um, making it expandable with the battery system and easy yeah. to install more batteries if you need them. Um, what about the actual case itself? Because, not the case, or yeah. the, the box itself. So it's IP rated as well. Yeah. So I, I forgot to mention, it is IP rated, which means it can go out in the elements, so it can sit in the in the rain. If you've got a big field and you put a ground mount solar system, this box will sit perfectly underneath that and, and just it'll freestand. So not only is it IP rated, but like the one behind me, it is freestanding. So it's got forklift Tongs that you can pick in. Um, tongs or ties? What do you people call Tongs? Do you um, put tongs on a fork? Tong ties? Tong ties. <laughs> um, it's got tong ties on the bottom <laughs> that you can use to pick up with the forklift. It's, we've gone a little bit thicker with the steel. So whilst the box is a little bit heavier, mm. it's super heavy duty. It's, it's super rugged. So it'll, it'll sit anywhere around, you know, us here in Australia. It'll go all over Australia and have no worries. Yeah. And that's something you like with the, that complexity factor. When you're trying to put all uh, renewable energy gear, inverters, batteries into position, trying to find a spot to it, for it, sorry. It's it's quite heavy and it's quite complex, so you often need to think about the structure, where the batteries are sitting on the ground, you need to put down concrete. Whereas with the Skybox, because it's on such a, a, a heavy-duty steel yep. base, yep. you can literally dump it on to you yep. know, just the ground, yep. as long as it's not really muddy, and it will it'll it'll sit there and it'll it'll do the job. What's the biggest benefit uh, to people or to solar installers out there who might want to consider using the Skybox? Yeah, well, this, I think this part is probably the most exciting part for, for us especially as well being installers is that the, the thought process behind the design of the skybox is tailored a lot towards installers mm. um, so we, we've tried to make a it, the most simple installation you can get now obviously the box it has some weight it's pretty heavy but once you get the box into place 
Um, from and you don't have to have a forklift. It's not. You don't have to have not a forklift. That heavy. You can I'm use pretty a sure trolley. Most guys or... actually don't. They just use yeah. a, use a trolley. Yeah. Um, it can get around. Uh, once it's in place, it's a matter of there's a side panel. It's got all your connections on there, and and in our testing, 15 to 20 minutes, you've got your generator hooked up, you've got your loads hooked up, you've got your solar hooked in. Yeah. Um, and obviously that that's assuming you've got all the cables there in in place ready to go. But that part there. The system's already commissioned. Once you put your batteries in and you turn them on, and most people are surprised by this, power's on, yeah, ready to go, um, and it's all commissioned and done for you. Yeah, and that's compared to not only but like we were saying, the expertise usually required to put these systems together. You got to find a place for it. We're, we're bringing that simplicity to off-grid power. Literally, there's a spot to screw your. No, it's not screw, but you plug in your solar panels yep. Yep. Uh, into a breaker, you plug into your generator into a breaker, and the thing fires up and it manages the, the generator. It will turn it on for you when the batteries are low, where there's not enough solar, and it will it'll manage that whole system for you without having the, to, the yep. complexity of an off-grid system. That install time uh, of 20, you know, 30 minutes when all the cables are in place, um, and we'll put up a, you'll see here, this is a time-lapse video that we'll put up of that happening, is hours quicker than yep. this, this process yep. usually takes. So. Yep. Way less complex and also a lot faster, yeah. which is great. And then there's obviously yeah, the, the customer service side of things. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's a big one. Yeah. So, what's um? Well, talk to us about customer service. If yeah. only we could find an expert in the industry who really cared about customer if, service. If only we could find someone. Um, so what Sam and I have found through the years of, of being in the solar industry. Is that you, by the way? Is that yeah? Yeah, is that what we're getting? Yeah, that's what we're getting. At. <laughs> is um, many many products come out. Um, it, it seems to be the customer service doesn't always seem to match up with the amount of products and technology on the market, which can be really frustrating for customers and end users, uh, sorry, installers, um, who, again, from experience, end up being the ones stuck on site trying to call this person and that person to, to get some tech support. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what you get, no matter what you make, and the technology is great from all the products, is that mm -hmm. things go wrong. Uh, when you go to install on site, things are going to not go to plan, and that's where tech support is super important. And so that is one of the key components of, of, of the Skybox product is not just features and what it can do, is the tech support side and the customer service. So I personally head up um, the tech support here at Sky Energy, um, our installers who call in, you know, we, we have direct conversations. And, we, and through that, it's beneficial for us because we can improve our product, but it's super important for us of keeping our team really well trained in help, being able to help customers and be able to provide amazing tech support to all everyone who uses skybox yeah i personally feel like that's the best part of the product yeah is that when you need the support you need the help things don't go quite right on site you're not waiting an hour to speak to someone it's um it's five minutes which sounds like how it should be really but um from experience it tends to not be that way so that's something that is a really big part of the skybox ecosystem yeah yeah i think that's pretty much it um we're relaunching pvtv more or less so any questions about off-grid solar Put your questions in the comments and we'll answer them in the next episode. Uh, but for now, have a great day and we'll see you on the next episode.